Well, you've probably heard of organic food and farming, but a Breezy Point family is taking organic to a whole new level. For this week's In Focus, Jamil Donath shows us a company that's making going green a fashion statement. And I'll get some napkins. For 36 years, Wild Rose farm owners Charles and Karen Kinnearum have made it their lifestyle to be eco-friendly farmers. But now they're not just making organic food to eat, they're also making organic clothing to wear. Organic was the way to go on food, and when we found there was organic cotton, it was a revelation. Sixteen years ago, Karen quit her job in alterations, and now she doesn't just sew. She sews and sells her organic garments at Renaissance festivals and art fairs. We would go to organic conferences with our organic clothing and surprise everybody because no one knew there was anything like that when we started. And even though organics weren't in just yet, that didn't seem to affect the sales of this sustainable business. The colors and the styles are what drew people in. They didn't really care if it was organic. Although you can purchase numerous different colors of organic cotton, Kaniram chooses to buy a natural color so that she has the freedom to dye her own fabrics. She then uses a low-impact, non-toxic dye to make various colors like these. The Kanirams have help making their clothing at times, but for the most part, they do the work on their own. I'm not sure if we were business people first or farmers first. Hmm. Or I'm not sure we're still business first. people. Yeah. <laughs> There's some real good hamburger. While Karen makes the clothes, Charles is tending to the rest of the household chores. I'm the support crew. <laughs> <laughs> Charles may not be sewing the clothing, but he has a big part in keeping this business together. We have a, a really good working relationship. At the end of the day, we, we feel like we've made a good contribution to, to a wonderful country, rural, rural Minnesota. For this green team, they eat what they grow and wear what they sow. And when it comes to organics, you are what you eat and what you wear. For this week's In Focus, Jamil Donath, Lakeland like News. And Charles and Karen have received several awards for their work in the local food movement, sustainable farming, and rural entrepreneurship. To learn more about their company or Wild Rose, Wild Rose Farm, visit the email address right there, wildrosefarm.com.